Next, let's discuss how much water there is. At this moment, the Earth has all the water it ever has or ever will have. Our planet will get no more new water. The good news is that water is rarely ever destroyed. Earth's water is continually being recycled through what we call the hydrologic cycle. From wetlands, oceans, lakes, streams, water is evaporated into the atmosphere as water vapor, and then it falls back to Earth as rain or snow. The hydrosphere is all the water on Earth. Water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. That's about 358 quintillion gallons of water. But 90%, excuse me, but 97% of the world's water is ocean water. Now that's salt water and it's too salty for humans to drink. That leaves only 3% of the water as fresh water to supply the whole world freshwater drinking supply. Yet most of that fresh water, about 80%, is frozen. It's frozen in the polar ice caps. Most of the rest of the fresh water is too polluted to use, it's trapped in the soil, or it's just too hard to get to. That leaves us with just one half of 1% of the world's fresh water to use. As the world population grows, the demand for fresh water grows too. Luckily, water is also one of the most recyclable substances on Earth. In fact, all the water in the planet has been recycled countless times. We drink the same water that the dinosaurs drank. So when we use water, we don't destroy it or make it disappear. We may move it about from place to place. We may make it unusable for drinking purposes. Sometimes that's for a short period or longer, as the case may be, if water becomes polluted with harmful contaminants. The more polluted it becomes, the more difficult it may become to clean it, but eventually, all water is recycled. A person can live on about a gallon of water a day for drinking, cooking, and washing. But most people in Texas use far more than this. On average, every American uses about 50 gallons of water a day. Worldwide, the need for water has tripled over the past 50 years. To get this water, people have drained rivers dry, turned grand valleys into huge tubs of water, and pump so much water out of the ground that the Earth's surface has sunk beneath our feet. In the U.S., we've often taken for granted the clean water that flows out of our faucets. We assume our water is safe, but we don't think much about where it comes from, how the water is cleaned and distributed, how much we use each day, or what happens to it when we flush our toilets.